Welcome in this next video about algebraic powers. In this video we're going to be teaching you what to do when you have to deal with a power of a product. Now, first of all, what is a power of a product? To give you an example, xy to the power fourth within brackets is the fourth power of the product xy. So, how could you work out the brackets in the expression of xy to the power four? First of all, xy to the power four is a product of now xy, so xy times xy times xy times xy is a repetitive multiplication of xy. Because we know that a to the power five was a times a times a times a times a. So in the same way we can do this with xy to the power four. Now knowing this, xy can be written as a product of we know this is a product of x times y, so we can also uh, expand this in x times y. And the same way, because we know a, b is a times b, in the same way we can do this with the other three parts, so this will give you x, y times x, y, etc. Now what to do next? Now, a good thing to do is now to order all the x's and all the, all, order all the y's. So we know that if you have a multiplication, you may change the order of the multiplication. So a times c times b can be written as well as a times b times c. Oh, we can flip those around. In this case we can have all the x's, so four times, and all the y's. And how can this be simplified? Now we know we may simplify this product as x to the power 4 times y to the power 4, or x to the power 4 or y to the power 4. This means that xy within brackets to the power 4 can be written as x to the power 4, y to the power 4. And in the same way if we have abc within brackets to the power 5, we can actually work, work out the brackets by taking the fifth power of every single part within the brackets. Because we know that abc means a times b times c, now the power 5 can be taken of every single part of it and we can write these all together again as a to the power 5, b to the power 5, c to the power 5. So what is the technique to work out brackets regards a power of a product? What to do? Now when you raise a product, so phi 4 b c, so 4 times b times c, when you raise a product to a power so let's say to the power 6, so 4bc all together to the power 6, you raise each factor of the product to that power. So each factor inside is raised to that power, which means that 4bc is all raised to the power 6. 4 to the power 6, b to the power 6, c to the power 6. Normally you have to do one step more of course, because 4 to the power 6 can be calculated. Now, Two examples. Simplify pq to the power 6. And we know that this has to be p to the power 6, q to the power 6. Second example, 5a to the power 3. This means 5 to the power 3a to the power 3. And then 5 to, to the power 3 can be calculated. 5 times 5 is 25. And again, times 5 is 125. Which gives you 125a to the power 3. Well, this was the explanation regarding power of a product. Good luck in the ex problem exercises and hope to see you in the next video.